When we were deciding where to restart Michter's after we went bankrupt in 1989 and now we're in the 1990s, um, you know, the reason that Dick Newman, you know, was such a proponent of setting up shop in Kentucky uh, was just, he said, look, if you want to aspire to make great whiskey, you have to be with the greatest whiskey makers. And, you know, there is just such a long, long history of wonderful whiskey making in Kentucky. Um, and, you know, there are reasons. I mean, obviously, you know, there's that limestone shelf that Kentucky is blessed with um, that filters the water and makes water that's just absolutely terrific for distilling bourbon and distilling American rye. Um, but it, it really is, I think, the Kentucky community and the Louisville community that are just so, so special. Um, you know, as Dick said to me, Dick said, you know, if you set up shop in Kentucky, you will have access to the greatest American whiskey makers and you will have access to certain um, support um, from the industry that you will not have anywhere else in, in the country. You know, there are whiskey resources in Kentucky um, that are just incredible. I mean, for example, um, you know, uh, we're going to be getting a, a, a new column still and a new copper pot still doubler system uh, custom made, delivered by Vendome, um, you, know, uh, uh, you know, later this year. Um, you know, to have a whiskey resource like, you know, Rob Sherman at Vendome and Tom Sherman at Vendome, um, you know, literally a five minute ride from your office um, is just incredible. I mean, Vendome, in my opinion, is clearly the best American still maker, and you can make an argument that they're the greatest still makers in the world, and they're right here in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, you know, you just then go further and just see just the tremendous people that over the past literally couple of hundred years um, have done, just been making such great whiskey in Kentucky and, and, and really the, the heritage that you don't have somewhere else and the whiskey knowledge, the cumulative whiskey knowledge in Kentucky about production and aging and barrel making I and mean, just it's something that I just don't think that you will see in any other state in the United States. But it, you know, it's very interesting because uh, even though Michter's traces back to 1753, we are the new kid on the block here. Um, and I have to say that you know, being new always faces a certain number of challenges. Um, but all that being said, I, I would have to say from the time that we you know, restarted Michter's in Kentucky, um, the whiskey community here has overall just been spectacular. Um, it's been welcoming. There's a lot of camaraderie between the different people at the different companies. Um, and um, they've just been really supportive, really helpful. And I, I get a sense in the Kentucky industry that it, it really is a feeling that, you know, uh, you want the tide to rise so to lift all the boats. And people really do pull together and they really help each other um, in a way that uh, I'm not sure they do in some other industries. Um, there, there really are just terrific people here, um, you know, incredible people.